Hello and welcome to another Reflections. And it's a great privilege to be with you today. And I pray that you are blessed as you watch in Jesus' name. My name is Andrea Onduko, and with my husband, Dr. Agbo Onduko, we pastor Chapel of Grace, a parish of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Our topic on today's Open Heavens Reflections is God's judgment is irreversible. God's judgment is irreversible. The Bible passage today is 1 Samuel 16, 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel arose and went to Ramah. Our memory verse is 1 Samuel 16, verse 1a. Now the Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Today's topic title is a wake-up call. Yesterday, on this program, we looked at the fact that God has substitutes for his assignments, and this was proven through cases such as Eli and Saul. We also need to understand that God's judgment is final. In fact, when God rejected Saul as king, Samuel was sorrowful as Saul had been God's chosen and anointed as king. However, God told him in our memory verse that we read today to stop mourning or being sorrowful for Saul. Samuel's sorrow would not change God's mind because it was already settled and another person had already been prepared to take Saul's place. May you not cause God to reject you in Jesus' name. Oftentimes we seem to have our own opinion about what God should or shouldn't do or what is fair or unfair. But God is the only one who knows the end from the beginning. He has all the facts at his disposal and he is sovereign. This means that he can and he will do as he pleases. There is a saying that if you offend a man, you can go to him for forgiveness. And if he doesn't accept, you can go to his pastor. And if the pastor won't listen, you can go to God. But if you offend God, who will you go to? God will give you opportunity to repent, but don't end up like Ephraim who ran out of chances. Hosea 4.17 says, Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. Be sure today that you obey instructions to the letter so that you will fulfill the assignment that God has for you and not be replaced by another. Now we are not saying that God is not merciful. We know that God is, is an abundance of mercy and grace. And we know that if you repent, he will, he will be just to forgive you. But what today is really about is that it, his judgment is final. That means that there's no one else that can plead for you. If you get to heaven and you say it was because of my wife or it was because of my husband, it was because of my friend or it was because of my pastor, that is not going to cut it. You need to be right with God for yourself. And so I really encourage you today to just take a moment after this program, go before God and just ask him to show you any place where you have gone wrong so that you can repent. And I know that once you repent, God will never reject your repentance. So do that today and get yourself right with God and go forward in a glorious future. Our prayer point today is gracious Father, help me to abstain from doing what will make you reject me in Jesus' name. I believe that is all of our prayer today and we will not be rejected in Jesus' name. What a wonder that we serve a merciful God and we thank him for his abundant mercy today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you all so much for watching today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.